Hello everyone, I'm Pikatik, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to City Skylines, where I thought I'd, you know, get a little bit of trees down this main road, add that little bit of detail, because, um, I feel it needed it. Uh, and that's what this episode is going to be about. It's going to be about the details, okay? We're going to start, um, getting all, all the fine stuff done. So the first thing was treeing up sort of everything down here. The next thing that I want to do is go ahead and just rezone uh, a bunch of the sort of the main street. I know I'd said I wanted a mix of stuff in there and then I wanted some gaps, but looking at it, I think having some nice, like having the entire thing just shop fronts, I think is going to look a little bit nicer. So I am just going to go through, remove all of the residential stuff and also add in some extra uh, commercial. Just low density stuff, but I think it's just, yeah, it's just gonna look that much nicer having purely commercial stuff going on down there. So let's just go ahead, hit play, speed up the game, and see how that looks. Uh, and ideally, I would have no gaps in between. Um, like you can see here, I've got a bit of a gap, but that's just how it's gonna have to be when I have curved roads. And obviously, this is a curved road, um, so a little bit, a little bit sad uh, about that, but that's okay. It'll just have to be. Um, but I think that's gonna look a lot nicer. Oh, fire going on in the background. Hopefully, our, our yeah, there we go. Got put out. Fire crew got to it in time. Um, but yeah, just having purely shop fronts down the high, uh, the main sort of street, the high street, along with um, all these trees on either side, I think is just, just sort of makes it look that little bit more accurate. Now, the other thing you saw me do in the opening time lapse was clear out a, uh, a bunch of areas. So we've got this one here, this one here, uh, this section here, these two, and down into here. And this big one here as well. Now, the idea for these is some of them are going to be custom parks. This one's going to be a custom park, for example. Some of them are going to be sports field areas, like, for instance, this one. Um, and some of them, like the back of these two, are going to be turned into concrete areas uh, with some parking on and stuff, just to, to break everything up a little bit. And, in fact, I might go ahead and concrete up this one as well so let's just start work on that uh, and because there is so much sort of detail work and uh plain boring you know custom parking of stuff there might be a few extra um time lapses in you know in this episode than normally you know you'd expect but you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to cope with that sadly hopefully these yeah these are gonna overlap fine though for some like i've got prop and tree anarchy turned on oh road anarchy for some reason it wasn't turned on i'm pretty sure i clicked that i i very distinctly remember clicking uh road anarchy that's okay we'll um we'll let that slide two by two should fit in there nicely i don't know i think the idea of having concrete um sort of in some of these places is a good one i think it's gonna look a lot nicer um, and it, it'll break up the monotony from when you're staring at it from up above you know if you've got one there and then you've got some that have no trees in them uh, in fact I'm gonna go ahead and no that's residential like the concreting only works with commercial stuff um, otherwise they sort of doesn't doesn't quite work uh, what I do want to do actually is bring a single lane in down and down into there and what happens if I then commercialify commercialify is that a word I'm turning it into a word now uh, commercialify all of that is that gonna work I think that's gonna work I will just get rid of these trees before everything builds through them <sighs> I must I really must remember to um, turn off bloody prop and tree anarchy when I build things that's okay. You can you can come back. Uh, yeah. Let's let's put some there and there. Lovely. 
Okie dokie. Now we can go ahead and get our one by one and just clean up, obviously, all the ends and edges. But that's a real nice little shopping area. You know, you, you come in, you can drive down the back. Lovely. Lovely little area. Who wouldn't want to come shopping here? Me, most likely. Um, I know I'm concreting under the trees, but that's okay. We'll pretend that there are planters under them or something. I mean, I could, of course, go ahead and actually put planters in there. I think I have them under... Yes, here. You know, we could... We could genuinely do that uh, but I don't think that that's necessary just yet um, I do however want to put some down here so the idea is that you don't drive down this area you uh, you walk of course I know people will drive but that's uh, that's that's fine use your imagination pretend that they will be walking lovely lovely little shopping area very, very nice. And then in this one next to it, we're going to have a park. So make sure that everything is nice and flat and level. What are you guys complaining about, eh? Over here. Not enough raw materials. Oh, is that because this is a farming district, is it? Did I, did I turn this into a farming area? I did. And this is not exactly farming land. But that's okay because the buildings they look cool i like how they look so you guys are just gonna have to keep complaining and that's fine what are you saying not enough goods to sell it's probably because the uh the industrial guys aren't making enough of it but that's okay you are underwater let's move you and bulldoze you because the power should connect it doesn't connect elsewhere okie dokie Let's put you... Nope. Huh. Okay. I guess that's why I had the... Uh, the th no, how... Was that really the only way it was connected? That's shocking. Terrible design by me. Uh, I know I'm getting sidetracked from doing the custom parks, but um, I will get back to them in just a second. Don't you worry. Let's go ahead and use our nice power poles, and we'll just link them up like so and we'll bring it just a little bit deeper in case any of these buildings sort of disappear you know it's not like i have the most sound uh housing plan everyone does tend to leave at some point uh <laughs> that will do okay dokie back to here what was i doing i was making sure that the land was flat so let's level the terrain Get a slightly larger brush. We'll pick this height. And yes, it seems to be perfectly level. So what I want to do, what I want to do is, I believe, like, so that's that's quite a large football park, right? And that's it's a little too serious for my liking. Uh, what I'm looking for is not a golf course. It is, in fact, the simple football field because the ground is nice and flat uh, actually let's get this perfectly lined up yes because the ground is nice and flat it should um, should work can I fit now another one in sideways no I'm gonna have to move this up just a little bit um, I just want enough room to add trees around the edges um, but I do want two football fields, so. Ooh, come on. That'll do. There we go. So we got, we've got two football fields down, which is lovely. Uh, and I'm also going to give these guys, I kind of want to give them like a seating area, but I, I'm not entirely sure how to do that um, with the stuff I've got. Um, but we can, we can have a look. Let's first, however, tree up this area. I'm going to use the nice big tall beech trees. Uh, single size, please. And a straight line. Boom. Perfect. We'll run some just down here. 
also one run some down this side and down this side this side will go all the way this side will leave open fantastic let's add some more trees uh, let's just get a bit of a, a brush size going on there lovely bulldoze a couple of the ones that are a bit too close give ourselves a bit of a, a pathway here and run said pathway it's just going to run down to here we'll go four by four we'll go straight up and we'll go straight across and then straight up lovely and we will fill in that gap with a dirt brush which is here one by one gravel boop, boop, boop. just like that perfect look at that perfect curve oh so happy um <laughs> Two by two. Ah, see, I want a square edge here, but that's going to be a little too big. Um, how can I? Oh, actually, doable. Very, very doable. Eh, maybe not. Actually, I'm not a fan. <laughs> um, you know, when you do something and you think, "Yeah, that's going to work out," and then you look at it and it sort of, sort of hasn't. Um, that's what happened there. That's okay. Let's add in some park benches. Everyone needs park benches. They are... Where are they? Ah, there we go. Every park needs park benches. So we'll have one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. I would like some rubbish bins. You're a water station for a dog park. Not what I'm after. I want a rubbish bin. That's a tr that is a dog park trash can, but it's still a trash can. So that's okay. We'll put a couple here. There we go. And we'll put one down the end. We'll skip the one in the middle. I don't think they need that many trash cans. That should be fine. Do I need any of this, or is this all just road tools that's a fence don't need the fence right now and i don't need fountains so that there is that park done hmm. i'm kind of tempted to remove these trees i don't know it might make it stand out a bit more we'll have to have a think with that and yeah we'll we'll, we'll think on that we'll rest on that that's fine over here these ones are simply going to be concreted um four by four eight by eight four by four i think is going to be plenty and uh we can fill in any remaining gaps with the one by one afterwards uh so yeah these two sections are just going to be concrete i'll come back and fill in details in just a sec don't you worry i can hear you in the comments now going you have left little gaps you have missed some spots yeah, I'll get back to them. It's okay. Don't you worry too much. Get that one. Get those ones. Come up here. We'll get those ones. Lovely. Get the edge. Of course, having said that, on the flip side, if I do say I'm completely finished an area and I have genuinely missed something, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll go back and fix it. I just don't want you doing it prematurely, is all. Um, let's see if I have a car parking. Oops, geez. if I have a car park um, thing to place down. Empty park. It doesn't look like I do. I might have it under road decals. I do have some road decals, which I could place down. And because it's a prop, I could technically use this. And if I add an angle of 90 and then I reduce. Hmm. There we go. 
that would, in theory, boom, give me a bunch of them. And then I can run a bunch down the back as well if I can line them up properly. Uh, one thing that would be nice for the prop and line tool uh, would be if we could get a when you're first when you're placing that very first one of a line like when you've got this line here if you could have a display of what the first one is going to be that would be great so we now have some car parks there uh, and what I am going to do is in my parks I have that empty park which I can go ahead and place down here so people are actually going to want to go into this area, right? That's that's my thinking. That's what's going through my head. Let's give myself another line of parks. Is that the right way around? Yes, that's the right way around. Go to, oh, we'll get rid of that last one. Unnecessary, that last one. And we'll go through the tedious trouble of trying to line these up again. May have nailed it though, just there. Boom, just like that. Nailed it. And you know what's coming. We're putting in some of these empty parks. Lovely. Which, of course, makes everyone super, super happy because those parks are a little bit OP. Uh, but also means people will actually wander down these areas. Let's just have a quick watch of everything. Let's see how this looks. Hopefully people actually use these. I mean, there's plenty of people walking around, which is really nice to see. Um, but it'll be even... I'm going to have to go through and patch this stuff up, which is... That's fine. See, there... Yeah, there we go. There are some people using them. Just sort of chilling. Nice. I like, I like to see people chilling. Um, why are you... Well... Is it because of that park? If I then, yeah, okay. So the parks remove the zoning. Hmm. Frustrating. That's okay. All we have to do is the empty parks, that is, by the way, the empty parks. All I have to do is go back in here and grab my concrete and just patch behind them like so and I'll go through and clean that stuff up probably off camera to be honest uh, <laughs> because it is almost the end of the episode so guys thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that like button and also don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one